YouTube. Today we have a couple of, well, one Dyson Powerhead and a Chinese knockoff of a Dyson Powerhead. I'm not quite sure what model this one is designed to be for. I use it with my DC-35 with a modified wand because it doesn't actually fit the DC-35. It has a larger, this piece, like a shield, and it actually doesn't fit into the connector on the DC-35, but I did that with the wand. This one came from eBay. The problem with this one is it'll stop even on a hardwood floor and it's not because it's loaded up with crap as far as I know. This one here won't stop for anything even if you actually stop it with your hands it'll start right back up again. This one here when it stops you have to turn off the vacuum pull the trigger again and it starts to go. What we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to take them apart. We're going to see what's inside when we're going to see if there's anything I can fix. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start with the genuine Dyson. So, in normal operation to clean this, you would first have to figure out where you put the flathead screwdriver that you were using about three minutes ago. Anyway, you don't really need a screwdriver to take this apart. You can use a coin, a flathead, large flathead screwdriver. Um, that works. It's a BR2032 lithium battery, dead lithium battery. So you just pop that cap off it just completely comes off and your brush roll slides out like that to be able to be cleaned and this has carbon fiber bristles and some really nice stiff bristles so you would take that out and that's pretty much the only user serviceable part on this is to remove the brush roll and clean it So for the Chinese copy, they make it a little bit easier. It just has a little that. And it's actually captive with the brush roll. And again, it pulls right out the side. Presumably, this would be the only part that you would typically service on these. And generally, I would have just said, forget about trying to fix the Dyson one. I'll just use this one because it works and it doesn't stop all the time but the consistency of the brush of the bristles on this and it's it's so soft it barely even does anything on a hardwood floor in fact the hardwood floor is probably about a, the only thing it's good for using it on a carpet you'd be just as well just using a straight suction nozzle and you'd probably get longer battery life out of the thing. So we're gonna look at trying to take the Dyson head apart. Now this front part that's held on by Phillips head screws does not look like it needs to come off. The rest are held in by what looks like T10 screws, torques. And let's see, I have a T10 in here. Uh, we'll, we'll start by taking the end plate off. This should cover, there should be a drive belt. behind this one. Oh wait, no it isn't a cover. 
That's part of. Okay. Let's try taking the bottom one off because this back piece here actually covers a couple screws that are in the main housing. And it has a couple little plastic clips on there. Can we get it off about into here? So the way this thing operates, when it stops, it won't restart until you hit the release the trigger on the vacuum and start it again. Whereas the Chinese one, even if you stop the motor, it will start back up again. I was expecting there to be some kind of circuitry in here, whether a controller chip or something, just to basically say when the motor is overloaded, stop and don't restart until you lose power and regain power again. But it does not look like that is the case. So I know this is saying it's 16 volts, but I'm just, and I need to get better connectors. I'm just going to hook 12 volts up to this. See what happens. Yeah. We'll just disconnect one lead on the motor just in case there is something up in here. I don't want to fry something, but. I doubt it from the looks of it. Okay, so that's what it does when it's connected to straight DC power. It does not stop. So now let's try and hook it up with the vacuum. It's going to be a little bit trickier because it's... I need to use the wand with this one. So it, it stops when it's overloaded, like that. 